I feel at this point highly confident that we will get into orbit this year, says Elon Musk. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to tell you about nuclear-powered Mars Express Starship that has been unveiled by Elon Musk. Despite tremendous hype ahead of the upcoming presentation, Elon Musk gave an update on SpaceX's plan to create its interplanetary Starship rocket on Thursday night, but stopped short of revealing a firm launch date for an orbital test or new missions. I feel at this point highly confident that we'll get to orbit this year. The entrepreneur told an audience at the company's Starbase facility near Boca Chica, South Texas, while hinting at a potential pivot to launching from Florida if the company encounters regulatory roadblocks. Musk was speaking against the backdrop of the spacecraft's fully stacked structure, which stands 394 feet tall, or 120 meters tall, and features a matte black upper stage atop a gleaming silver super heavy first stage rocket. They form the world's largest spaceship, towering over even the Saturn V rockets that carried people to the moon during the Apollo era. Starship, which will be made of stainless steel and designed to be totally reusable, will be the world's most powerful rocket, capable of lifting up to 100 metric tons into Earth orbit. SpaceX envisions the ship delivering passengers and cargo to the moon, Mars, and beyond, and NASA recently awarded the corporation a contract for a version of Starship to ferry astronauts from lunar orbit to the surface as part of the Artemis program. Musk recapped his eventual goal for populating Mars as a life insurance in case of a calamity on Earth, as well as the first step into spreading humanity's imprint outside the solar system, in his first detailed status report on the project since 2019. His sales pitch for Mars, it's going to be cramped, dangerous, difficult, very hard work, and you might die, though he expects to terraform the red planet in the future. Musk also added several fan-friendly improvements, such as an example of how one starship might be sent to refuel another on long-distance journeys, and a comparison of the thrust advantage and cleaner design of the current Raptor engines to the first edition. According to Musk, each starship rocket will contain 33 Raptors, and a production bottleneck is expected to alleviate in the coming weeks, with as many as one engine being made each day by next month. He also said that within a few years, the cost of launching a rocket might be as low as $10 million, a figure that could change the business by making rockets more appealing for commercial transportation. A flight to Singapore from the US is 20 hours, but in a rocket, it would be less than an hour, so let's say 45 minutes or so. The upper stage of the Starship has already completed many suborbital flights. Last May, SpaceX eventually succeeded in landing the spacecraft after repeated attempts that resulted in spectacular explosions. However, a far more ambitious orbital test is awaiting approval from the Federal Aviation Administration due to environmental concerns. The FAA announced in December that it would submit a report by February 28th. Musk stated that while he was hopeful of gaining approval, if it was delayed, he was prepared to move launch operations to the company's launch facility at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. He also mentioned that the company's acquisition of former deepwater oil rigs to transform into rocket launch and land locations could be useful. Aside from exploratory missions, Starship's massive payload capacity might be used to astronomers looking to launch larger observatories into space, and the US military has given SpaceX a five-year contract to demonstrate its ability to transport freight around the world in record time. Yusaka Maezawa, a Japanese billionaire, has hired Starship to take him around the moon with a team of artists, and Musk hinted that future announcements that I think people would be pretty fired up about would be coming shortly. Elon Musk gave his latest update on his plans to take people to Mars on Thursday evening on an outdoor platform in South Texas, between displays with polished computer images and a real enormous sparkling rocket behind him. Musk's presentation was vivid in describing his vision of humanity's interplanetary future, but he was more cautious about the practical aspects about the gigantic SpaceX rocket Starship, which is a key to those and other aspirations. Before it can go into orbit or complete a multi-billion dollar contract to land NASA astronauts on the moon, let alone occupy the red planet, the spacecraft must clear a slew of technical and legal barriers. However, Musk stated on stage Thursday night that he believed Starship would be capable of constructing a self-sufficient metropolis on Mars, which could entail transporting a million tons of stuff from Earth. 
This is the first point in the 4.5 billion year history of Earth that it has been possible, Musk said. We need to seize the opportunity and do it as quickly as possible. I want to be frank, civilization is feeling a little fragile these days. Let's make it real, Musk said after watching an animated simulation of an imaginary Mars settlement serviced by SpaceX vehicles. SpaceX has been working on Starship, the most powerful rocket ever, for several years. It would also be totally reusable, unlike any prior rocket. This has the potential to drastically reduce the cost of launching payloads into orbit, less than $10 million to launch 100 tons into orbit, and Musk believes it will be doable within a few years. SpaceX has made a series of test flights on the top half of the spacecraft that will go to orbit and then return during the last three years, demonstrating how it might belly flop in the atmosphere and then land. In May 2021, one of the flights was successful, while the others resulted in explosions. A much larger booster stage, known as Super Heavy, with dozens of engines, is required to reach orbit. That hasn't been put to test yet. Musk, on the other hand, has a history of making overly optimistic scheduling promises. When he first talked about his Mars rocket in 2016, he indicated that the first test mission to Mars without people on board would launch in 2022, and that the first people to visit Mars would leave two years later. Musk estimated that the first orbital rocket would take place within six months when he delivered an update in September of 2019. However, despite the fact that 2020 is now here, SpaceX has yet to attempt an orbital launch of Starship. In his lecture on Thursday, he expressed confidence that it will happen this year, although he was unclear about the details. His address in Boca Chica, Texas, near Brownsville, mingled in a range of bawdy remarks while basically reiterating the vision he had previously articulated, including his arguments for why humanity needs to expand beyond Earth as a backup plan for humankind's survival. He also addressed opponents who claim that space exploration is a waste of time and money, pointing out that just a small portion of federal budget is dedicated to spaceflight and exploration. I'm just suggesting we'd like maybe half a percent or something. Like, that would probably be okay, Musk remarked, alluding to space budgeting. He mixed in technical specifics regarding the company's enhancements to the next edition of the Starship engines. So the only remaining issue that we are aware of is melting the chamber, Musk added, referencing to the engine's extreme heat. Just not melting the chamber is very difficult, Musk continued. It's kind of the last remaining challenge, but I think we're very close to solving that. He was hopeful that the Federal Aviation Administration will approve SpaceX's attempt to launch to orbit from Boca Chica following an environmental study. We have gotten sort of a rough indication that there may be approval in March, Musk added. If that happens, he said, an orbital launch attempt might happen in a couple of months, or maybe May. However, if the FAA decides that a more thorough environmental evaluation is required, SpaceX will move the launches to Kennedy Space Center in Florida, which will result in a six to eight month delay, while the launching pad there is modified for the gigantic Starship. NASA plans to use Starship to transfer astronauts from orbit around the moon to the moon's surface, in addition to future voyages to Mars. Aside from Starship, returning astronauts to the moon will necessitate the space launch system, another big rocket under development by NASA that is also behind schedule. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.